Leon County's Lake Jackson, now not much of a lake at all, with no water opening up the discovery of two human skulls on Sunday while bringing attention to a lake dry down. That's happened only seven times since the start of the 1900s. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ava Van Valen. And I'm Channing Frampton. ABC 27's Jada Williams joins us live from the lake tonight. Jada, what's behind the drying up of this lake? Ava Channing, about every 25 years, the lake dries out, as you can see behind me. That's because of two sinkholes under it. And when that happens, it uncovers the secrets beyond the water, like those two skulls. Now you see it. Now you don't. Four time. I just, just the fourth time I've seen this lake dry. Despite the lack of water, James Johnson made his normal trip to the lake, hoping to find his catch of the day. Johnson says his family has fished in these waters for generations. My family was talking about it, how it goes and comes. Northwest Florida Water Management says the first documented disappearance of the lake's water was in May of 1907. According to them, this is the seventh time since then. It's a natural occurrence where the, the water just kind of drains from the, from the basin. There are two sinkholes under the lake, slowly draining. Over time, especially with low rainfall, the hole opens up even more. There is some good that comes with the draining. It removes that muck and sediment, creating a better environment for the fish to return to. Florida Department of Environmental Protection spent the day surveying the area, preparing to study it once again. Commissioner Rick Miner says this draining also presents the county with another opportunity. What we're going to be doing is, is working with FDEP um, and other agencies to promote um, uh, litter cleanups of the lake bed. Now there is no telling when those skulls that were found in Lake Jackson will be identified as of right now. They're at the medical examiner's office. Now as for the cleanup that Commissioner Miner mentioned, we will eventually be able to sign up for that. It'll be on the county's website. In Tallahassee, Jada Williams, ABC 27.